Have you ever wondered how these towering structures of fire and rock called volcanoes come into existence? Well, the life of a volcano begins deep beneath the Earth's surface in a place known as the mantle. This is a layer of molten rock, or magma, which is kept under extreme pressure. Now, this magma is lighter than the surrounding solid rock, and like a balloon rising through the air, it begins to ascend towards the surface. As it rises, this magma can encounter sections of the Earth's crust that are weaker or thinner than others. These areas are often found along the boundaries of tectonic plates, the giant puzzle pieces that make up the Earth's surface. When two of these plates collide, one can be forced under the other, creating a pathway for the magma to break through. This is called a subduction zone, and it's one of the most common birthplaces for new volcanoes. Now imagine the pressure building, like a shaken bottle of soda. The magma forces its way up, melting and fracturing the rock as it goes. Eventually it reaches a point where the pressure from below is too great and the rock above can no longer hold it back. With a thunderous roar, the volcano erupts, spewing molten rock ash and gases into the air. The material that doesn't get launched into the atmosphere cools and hardens, gradually building up the recognizable cone shape of a volcano. This can happen over thousands of years with multiple eruptions, adding layer upon layer to the growing mountain. Each eruption is a new chapter in the volcano's life story, adding to its size, shape, and perhaps even changing the course of its future eruptions. And so, a new volcano is born, a fiery testament to the incredible power and dynamic nature of our planet. Its life may be marked by periods of calm, followed by explosive outbursts, as it constantly reshapes and remoulds itself in response to the forces at work beneath the surface. So, the birth of a volcano is a fiery spectacle, a testament to the Earth's ever-changing nature. Volcanoes are not one-size-fits-all. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, each with its unique characteristics. Now, let's delve into the three main types of volcanoes, shield volcanoes, stratovolcanoes, and cindercone volcanoes. Each of these types has its own unique formation process and features, which contribute to the fascinating diversity of volcanic landscapes around the globe. First up, we have shield volcanoes. These are the gentle giants of the volcanic world, named so due to their broad shield-like shape. These are formed by highly fluid lava flows that spread out in all directions from a central vent or group of vents, creating a wide, gently sloping mound. Hawaii's Mauna Loa is a classic example of a shield volcano. Next in line, we have stratovolcanoes, also known as composite volcanoes. These are the most common type of volcano and are characterized by their large symmetrical cone shape. Stratovolcanoes are built up by layers or strata, of hardened lava, pumice and volcanic ash. These volcanoes are capable of explosive eruptions thanks to the viscous magma that traps gases within. The majestic Mount Fuji in Japan is a famous example of a stratovolcano. Last but certainly not least are the cindercone volcanoes. These are the smallest type of volcano and are usually produced by single short-lived eruptions. As the name suggests, these volcanoes are built from particle and blob-like deposits of molten or semi-molten rock ejected from a single vent. The formation results in a circular or oval cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Mexico's Paracutan is a prime example of a cinder cone volcano. So there you have it, the three main types of volcanoes, each with its unique features and formation processes. From the wide, gently sloping shield volcanoes, the layered and potentially explosive stratovolcanoes, to the smaller, short-lived cinder cone volcanoes. Each type of volcano adds a unique chapter to the Earth's dynamic geological story. A volcanic eruption is more than a dramatic spectacle. It can have profound implications on the environment and climate. The manner in which a volcano erupts can vary dramatically. On one end of the spectrum, we have gentle lava flows, where molten rock leisurely seeps out of the volcano's vent. This slow, non-explosive eruption can build up shield volcanoes over time, creating vast, broad landscapes. On the other end, we encounter explosive eruptions. These are the real showstoppers. They occur when gas-rich magma rises to the surface, resulting in a powerful release of energy. The eruption can catapult ash, gases and rocks high into the atmosphere. 
Stratovolcanoes or composite volcanoes are often associated with these explosive events. But what happens when you mix a massive eruption with our planet's climate system? We get a global impact. When a large eruption occurs, it can blast a significant amount of ash and gases like sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. This layer of the atmosphere sits above where most weather occurs, allowing these particles to linger. These particles act like a giant sunshade, reflecting some of the sun's energy back into space. The result? A temporary cooling effect across the globe. This phenomenon is known as volcanic winter. Historical records and ice core samples have shown us that large eruptions in the past have led to noticeable dips in global temperatures. However, it's important to remember that this cooling effect is temporary. Once the ash and gases disperse or fall back to Earth, the atmosphere returns to its normal state. So, while we may marvel at the fiery spectacle of a volcanic eruption, it's worth remembering the far-reaching impacts these geological events can have. From shaping landscapes to influencing the global climate, volcanoes play a significant role in our world's dynamic system. As we can see, volcanoes have the power to shape not only landscapes, but also the world's climate. Volcanoes are a double-edged sword. Alongside their awe-inspiring beauty, they harbor immense destructive power. On one hand, volcanoes are fascinating geological formations, providing us with a window into the Earth's fiery heart. On the other hand, they can become agents of chaos and destruction. Their hazards are as diverse as the volcanoes themselves, ranging from searing lava flows to pyroclastic flows, ashfall and volcanic gases. Let's start with lava flows. These molten rivers are not just mesmerizing to watch, but they can also wreak havoc. The speed and path of a lava flow depend on the viscosity of the magma and the slope of the volcano. While they usually move slow enough for people to escape, they can obliterate everything in their path, burning and burying homes, roads and fields. Pyroclastic flows are another significant hazard. These superheated avalanches of gas, ash and rock can travel at terrifying speeds, obliterating everything in their path. They are deadly and fast, leaving little time for evacuation. Ashfall, the rain of fine particles ejected during an eruption, can blanket vast areas, causing roofs to collapse under its weight, contaminating water supplies and posing a respiratory threat to both humans and animals. It can also severely impact aviation by damaging jet engines. Volcanic gases, while less visually dramatic, are no less dangerous. These can include sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, among others. They can cause respiratory issues, acid rain and in high concentrations can be lethal. The impacts of these hazards on human life, infrastructure and agriculture are profound. Lives can be lost, homes destroyed and crops ruined. Entire communities can be displaced and recovery can take years, if not decades. Yet, despite these risks, humans have always been drawn to volcanoes. They build cities on their fertile slopes, farm their mineral-rich soils and marvel at their spectacular eruptions. The relationship between humans and volcanoes is a delicate dance, a balance between reaping their benefits and respecting their power. Volcanoes, despite their captivating allure, can pose significant threats to life and property. So, the next time you marvel at a volcano's majesty, remember the power it holds within. Volcanoes, with their raw power and majestic beauty, have left an indelible mark on human culture and continue to draw tourists from around the world. Volcanoes loom large, not just on our landscapes, but also in our stories, traditions and mythologies. For instance, the Hawaiian goddess Pele, revered as the creator of the Hawaiian Islands, is believed to reside in the Halemaumau crater of the Kilauea volcano. She embodies the explosive power and transformative nature of volcanic eruptions, a testament to the deep cultural significance of these geological marvels. In Japan, Mount Fuji, an active stratovolcano, is deeply woven into the country's cultural fabric. It's a symbol of beauty and strength, frequently depicted in art and literature. For the people of Japan, this majestic peak is much more than a volcano. It's a sacred entity, a source of inspiration and a national symbol. 
Volcanoes are also significant tourist attractions. Their allure lying in their raw, untamed beauty and the thrill of witnessing the Earth's power up close. Italy's Mount Vesuvius, for instance, draws visitors with its historical significance as the destroyer of Pompeii and Herculaneum in AD 79, and its commanding presence over the Bay of Naples. Mount St. Helens in the United States offers another unique experience. Its catastrophic eruption in 1980 left a dramatic imprint on the landscape, serving as a stark reminder of the forces that shape our planet. Today, it's a vibrant hub for research and education, attracting tourists with its recovering ecosystems and breathtaking views. Then there's Costa Rica's arenal volcano, a perfect cone-shaped beauty known for its near constant activity until 2010. Its nighttime eruptions were a spectacular sight with glowing rocks and lava lighting up the night sky. Though it's now in a resting phase, Arenal remains a popular destination with hot springs, hiking trails and a wealth of wildlife adding to its appeal. Volcanoes, therefore, are not just geological wonders. They are cultural touchstones and tourist magnets, offering us a window into the Earth's dynamic processes.